There's no question that businesses across the country and here in the Northwest face huge challenges amid the pandemic. Yeah, today in our Mom to Mom segment, Erin Mayofsky introducing us to four local moms who are also business owners. They're opening up about how they're managing to survive and stay afloat. Well, we are here today with another group of lovely moms from Western Washington, and we have so much to talk about this topic. We're talking about pivoting your business during the pandemic. So let's get right into it and introduce everyone who is here today. We have Jasmine Donovan from Dick's Drive-In and Amy Burns from Anthony's Restaurants, Jennifer Shea from Trophy Cupcake. Sounds so good. I wish I could have one right now. And finally, Jenny Keller, author and owner of Jenny Cookies Bake Shop. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Yeah, and why don't we start with you, Amy? Let's talk about how this pandemic has caused most of us to pivot our lifestyles and now our businesses. You guys run and own businesses. How is that affecting your life? Wow. Well, the restaurant industry, as you all know, has been so tremendously impacted during this pandemic. And it's been really a challenge for us to figure out how we do things differently and really go beyond our traditional business model of dine-in guests. And we have 23 locations in the Northwest, so we had to quickly stop and look around and see how we could be innovative and really generate sales differently. Yeah, well, but I know. It was really challenging. Definitely. I know I buy some of your fish and products down at the bottom of the Magnolia Bridge, selling yes. that, and that's a way to help out. Well, Trophy Cupcakes, let's get to you. Talk about uh, pivoting your business, Jennifer, and how that has really affected the outcome of your business. It was such a challenge, especially right in the beginning, not knowing what was going to happen and looking around and feeling like, wow, I've been working on this business for 14 years and it might just go down the drain like overnight. So that was really, really scary. Um, and it's made me look at everything about our business in a different way. We had six locations um, back in March. Now we have four. Um, but overall, the silver lining is that we have just really looked at what's working for our business, what's not. I, it's so much more than a pivot to me. I'd call it a dance, like the pivot hustle, because <laughs> we've all for the past year pivoted, you know, one way and then the next month it's something else. And like, it's just this dance, uh, but ultimately it's good. We, we have come out the other side, even though it's not over. And I feel like our business is stronger than it was a year ago. That's always so good to hear. It's been such a tough time. Jenny, how about you? Tell us about your baking and what you've got going on. You're also an author. What's your story? So we have a destination bake shop up in Lake Stevens. And when COVID happened, we, we too started just kind of going into this thinking quick on our feet situation you know what are we gonna do i can totally relate to jennifer because i did the same thing i've been doing these cookies for you know since 2006 and i thought oh my gosh is this the end of it you know we've worked so hard and are we going to be able to sustain this so i just had to make some really quick decisions we decided to ship our cookies nationwide not in the way i had anticipated i love to do everything you know really perfectly and we just had to kind of go for it and jump into it i have a pretty big uh social media platform and so i use that to continue to you know spread kindness and hope and just give people something to do so on mondays i started doing a live bake along every single week and that has that really kept people to, you know giving them something to look forward to on mondays yeah. and creating that connection with our customers whether they were local or nationwide but it was it was crazy. It was, oh, I can imagine. It, but that's, yeah. that's something that's so great about this creativity. And how about you, Jasmine? I've been going to Dick's Drive-In since I can remember, since I've been a kid with my dad. I feel like I remember the cheeseburgers at 59 cents. How has this affected that company? So we also, of course, had to do the, the pivot shuffle. I love that, Jennifer. I'm going to use that now all the time. Um, every, every day there was something new we were, we were adapting to. Uh, we were very blessed in that our business is all takeout, and we were set up uh, in a way um, better than most restaurants and uh, to sustain uh, ourselves through this pandemic. Um, and, and we just 
At the beginning, we're trying to stay open, trying to communicate with our customers about what we're doing, how we're maintaining safety for them and for our employees. Um, our customers were so patient with us with every new thing we rolled out uh, for them in, in that way. Um, early on, even before most people were social distancing, our customers were amazing, went, uh, trended on Reddit for a picture of yeah. them social distancing on our patios. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a year of changes, many, many changes. We launched a food truck this year which was amazing and we did that um to be able to reach our customers who aren't coming into the city anymore for events we need to go to where they are and um it, it's been an amazing ride this last year well guys thank you so much for sharing those moments with us and talking about your businesses and your plans we're going to talk more about that and just wanted to let you know that 72 percent of moms are employed across the country so we'll dive more into that later but this is this week's of mom to mom